We're in the Park Army Holly Park Association train stand here today at the Holiday Resort and Innovation Show. And with me is an incredible gentleman called John. I just had the great pleasure to welcome all the new members. First of all, thank you very much indeed, nice John, you. for joining us now. Wallace Lane Farm Holiday Park is an incredible holiday park that's got a mixture of lodges, a mixture of touring facilities. But why don't you tell me a little bit more about this business? Because since 2008, so I'm Bradley. Yep, I'm the uh, Bradley. <laughs> We've been before we introduced now. Uh, I'm Bradley. But tell us a bit about your, your site, John. Uh, from, from the viewer's point of view, uh, it could be other park operators watching. It could be people watching this looking to book and to come to your site on a, on a holiday vacation. But what an incredible year it's been. Well, it's been a very a, a very unusual year, in fact. Or a very unusual 18 months, I would say, Bradley. Um, obviously, I think like many in our industry, we've suffered the ups and downs of the, of the COVID pandemic and the, the worries and, and uh, uh, turmoil that's gone with that. I mean, overall, we've had, at the end of the day, 2021 will have been a good year for us. Uh, with a difficult start to the year, obviously, we've been closed for three and a half months at the beginning of the year, and obviously a number of restrictions happening since then. But overall, uh, our occupancy levels this year have been up around 60-65%. Uh, you know, we've had an extremely good season. Um, obviously, some difficulties facing us now with the winter coming, and we don't know what restrictions may or or may not uh, happen happen this year. But we're we're ploughing ahead as if no restrictions are going to come now. So uh, we're, we're 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 planning for a positive future. Um, uh, you know, we're still maintaining sensible precautions on our sites, but uh, overall, we're expecting things to be as good next year as they are this year, or or, or better, hopefully. And um, what better place to be than in the most beautiful Cumbria? Well, yeah, I mean, what you know, a beautiful uh, place uh, to uh, be. Uh, as describe say, you know, the park uh, for us, can you? Describe your park. Well, obviously, we're, we're in a relatively new park. We only started around uh, about six or seven years ago with the park, which included... Um, uh, we started off with a, a, a couple of holiday cottages uh, and then expanded that to, to four or five. Um, we then started out with camping and caravanning, which, of course, soon soon changed into glamping and then lodges and uh, and then more caravans and more camping and more glamping and more lodges and so on and uh, you know and obviously it includes better facilities on site now new uh, you know new toilet blocks new uh, new uh, new laundry facilities new shop on site etc etc so things that people expect in better better internet connectivity which everybody wants now um, and so we, we, we slowly but surely grow now from uh, you know, a relative, so a relatively modest turnover five or six years ago to, to, to quite a sizable business now employing 10 or 12 people. So congratulations. Uh, you're very passionate about the industry, <laughs> which, you, which I love. And, and at the Park Armory Park Association, we're passionate about members that join us as passionate as John is about his business. Now you've enjoyed uh, a successful growth with your holiday park, but you're no stranger to property in general. You've got a background in property um, and estate agency, so you're no stranger to the property industry. You've moved, I guess, from an estate agency back then into the holiday park. Can I ask you what was it was that you, what, it, what it was going through your mind when you said, "Well, I'm going to buy a, a park and I'm going to turn it into a holiday park"? What was that? How well, did you I, come I, to that decision? I, I, I suppose for me, it was a combination of reasons. It was it was part of a, you know, I wanted that sort of lifestyle business. I wanted to get away from the rat race of the town and the city. Uh, but at the, still, at the same time, you've still got to earn a living for the rest of your life, haven't you? And you've got to, you've got to build up a business, build up a brand that that's has value and that has meaning and that's something I can eventually pass on to my children, grandchildren uh, or, or, or whatever we wish to do, to do with it in the future. But, um, you know, living in a very beautiful part of the country like the Lake District is, is, is a wonderful thing to do. You know, I, I look out of my bedroom window every day at the down across the Solway Firth over to the sea and see the beautiful sunsets every evening and I think I'm, a, I'm the luckiest man in the world to, to live in a place like that. You know, at the same time, I wasn't thinking that during the COVID pandemic, during the, the lockdowns, I was thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? But again, you know, now we, I think, all know what's happening and we feel a bit more confident. Um, you know, we, we, you know I, I see a bright future for this particular industry. You know, we face some tremendous challenges going forward over the next five or ten years, particularly with the green agenda and how that's going to affect us. Um, uh, you know, but but I think that you know, you know, it, it's a very positive business in which to be uh, involved over the, over the next few years. And we spoke briefly just off camera as she was registering to join us uh, as becoming a member of the association, and we were talking about development of parks. Now a lot of 
park operators are now developing, they're expanding. It's been a great year for touring. Now, are you looking to make any improvements to your park uh, over this coming season? Is there development plans in yeah, the, we're, we're, as, in the as, future? As, as we speak, we're, we, we have people on site doing improvements to our site. It's the same, improving our, improving our facilities as far as... Um, Half standing pitches for, for tourers and for motorhomes, um, providing some bigger pitches because, of course, these days we've got people turning up now in, in mobile homes that look more like double decker buses <laughs> than, uh, than Volkswagen camper vans. Amazing, aren't they? Oh, yeah, They're amazing. I, 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 and you know, and people yeah. spending, you know, people spending, you know, almost the cost of a house in my day on, 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 the, on the cost of a, a motorhome. And uh, you know, I don't see that. Um, I don't see that sort of development of the, of the size of the business going down. That that will be going up over the years. So I think you know we have to make sure we've got the correct facilities for these people when they come. Um, you know, obviously, although people you might think are coming camping, they're going to rough it. The truth is, they're they're still looking for the the home comforts to be there. They're yes. looking for really yes. nice, clean toilets. They're looking for really nice, clean sites with um, you know they're looking for places that are pet friendly. You know, probably. Two thirds of the people who come to our site bring their little pooch with them. Um, you know, there's a lot of families coming, to, particularly during the school holiday period. Little Johnny and little Mary want to run around and play in the uh, on the campsite playground and so on. So again, we need to improve these facilities to make the visitor experience better. Uh, you know, better internet connectivity, which of course they all want these days, which of course is a has been a major problem for us in rural areas. Uh, and uh, uh, just you know, on, on just on the internet, can I ask you? What the service is that's coming in currently? Are you doing sort of the satellite dish broadband? Or are you are you cabled under? Well, we, 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 we've we've recently changed to a 4G network using off off the mobile phone network, which um, uh, uh, has actually proved quite successful. Right. Um, uh, we, we, we're getting quite good speeds now on the site. For a, you know, still expensive in, in my opinion, but 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 uh, but it, it more or less works. Um, we really need fibre to the site, which we haven't got, yeah. uh, and fibre's you know ten miles away, and uh, yes. uh, and there's no there's no chance of it coming anytime soon, from what I can see. But uh, you know, we, we we also have a microwave link uh, that we get to the site, which again provides a reasonable speed. Um, so you know, we, we we're doing okay, but it's not you know the trouble is these days people are you know people are living their lives on their phone, they've got it in their hand all the time. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're you know they're they're watching television on the internet, they're watching you know. Been on social media all the time, and uh, and you know, I'm still a bit of a dinosaur when it comes to these things. But I, I recognise the importance of it, yes. and um, and how and how much the uh, our customers, and particularly the younger age groups, uh, uh, you know, uh, there's no putting that genie back in the bottle, is there? Now they're going to be on that for forever. It is. It's so true. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an incredible park operator. Uh, this is John Stanier, and John Stanier's company for, for you to find out more is Wallace Lane Farm Holiday Park. Uh, what's the website address, uh, John? It's www.wallacelanefarm.co.uk. Wallacelanefarm.co.uk. Go to the website, have a quick look, come along and meet John and the team that's running the site. And there's some new things planned for 2022, some new implementations coming, improvements to the site. I want to say on behalf of the Park and Holy Park Association, thank you for coming down to the Holiday Innovation Resort Show. Thank you for joining us, and members today, John okay. and Bradley Chapman, okay, Bradley. Uh, Director General. And this is an incredible new member, ladies and gentlemen. Please do check out the site and have a look for your next holiday. Yeah.